brothers and sisters. Power. We're here to say that we are here on this soil, on this side of the Atlantic, but we continue to relate, support, and advocate for our brothers and sisters on the other side of the Atlantic. That's just a body of water, but it's not going to divide us. We're going to maintain our connection to who it is that we know represents our roots. We're here saying that we want the sanctions against Zimbabwe to be lifted immediately. That's right. We're here saying that Zimbabwe is a sovereign nation, that they are a recognized nation, and that they have the authority to decide how they're going to govern themselves. We know that when the colonists went, they stole the land, That's made right. the people who lived there work the land, and they benefited from that labor that they did not pay for. We're here saying that when former President Mugabe said, we're taking back the land, we said, right on, because that was the righteous thing to do. And we are standing here saying that the actions of the United States to try to strangle Zimbabwe and those nations that are going and buying in on that are not what we think should be happening. We're raising our voice, saying lift the sanctions, let Zimbabwe be the sovereign nation, entitled to all of the manifestations that any other country is entitled to, and lift the sanctions, and yes, we need the land back to the hands of the people who live in Zimbabwe. Peace, my brothers and sisters, and power. All right. Zimbabwe lives. Zimbabwe lives. Zimbabwe lives. Yeah, yeah. Zimbabwe lives. Yeah, yeah. Zimbabwe lives. Yeah, yeah. Zimbabwe is open for business. Zimbabwe is open for business. Zimbabwe is open for business. Brothers and sisters. As goes Zimbabwe, so goes Harlem. Teach. That's As right. As goes Zimbabwe, so goes East New York and Bedford Stuyvesant and Brooklyn. We are not a race of people. We are a nation of people. We are an African people. Dr. John Henry Clark said, you're not who you are based upon where the boats dropped you off. You are who you are based upon where the boats picked you up from. And they picked us up from Africa. That's right. We are a domestic colony of racist, parasitic capitalism. They didn't colonize Africa like the European countries. What they did is they stole you and brought you to the southern states of America and formulated a domestic colony in America. We are colonized people. So as a colonized people in America, we got to follow the example of what happened in Zimbabwe. Malcolm X said land is the basis of all freedom. When we go back to East New York, we don't control the land. We don't control the police. We don't control the education system. We don't control the economics. We don't control the school system. Others who don't live in our communities control that. Harlem is controlled by Metro PC and, and Stop Shop and Lazarus and Verizon and White Castle. We don't control the economy of Harlem. So Zimbabwe set the example, brothers and sisters, when they got their political liberation, they said that is not complete until we take the land. They took the land from those who stole it from them in the first place. That's right. They took the land from those who stole it from them in the first place. And then you know, Africa is the richest continent on earth. All of the minerals below the earth and all of the crops above the earth is what makes Africa rich and what enriches other countries who exploit Africa. So we are saying that Africa for the Africans, those at home and those abroad, 
And so Zimbabwe said, we're going to liberate the land. And they liberated 80 to 90 percent of the land. Zimbabwe said, we're going to take back the mines. We're going to take back the mines, the diamonds, the gold of Africa. Africa is not a poor country. Africa is an exploited country. Haiti is not a poor country. Haiti is an exploited country. These are rich natural resources. Capitalism is fatally flawed. We not only should fight against racism, because I don't want y'all to put a whole lot of emphasis on racism, and then they give you some diversity, and you think you won. You better fight against capitalism. So we say hands off Zimbabwe. Hands off Zimbabwe. Lift the sanctions. Zano PF was right. They took back the land. Straight ahead. That's right. Zimbabwe lives! Yeah.